So you've also spoken with Michael Knowles, um, I think about the idea of what is a woman. Uh, do you, can you speak broadly about your conversation with the people you disagree with? Uh, you know, some of the cases, it feels like it's gone wrong. The conversations the have conversation. gone wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a couple different things and I'm the first to tell you that depending on who I'm talking to, I go in with a different attitude about how, quote, seriously I'm taking it in the sense of whether I think it's going to be a deep policy discussion versus where it's, whether it's going to be more of a performance for an audience that is expecting a certain thing. And I think there's different types of shows. When I was interviewed by this guy, Jesse Lee Peterson in Los Angeles, it's very different, for example, than when I'm talking to Patrick Bet David, just to give two, two examples. I, I think... The reason I stopped doing the Michael Knowles show was the number of, of threats I would get after the fact. That's really the reason. I was glad to engage with him to the extent that the interviews were interesting and you know we could organize it reasonably efficiently. Um, but the reason I stepped away was sort of the aftermath. But I did find him to be someone who was abundantly clear about his view and where he comes from. And while I could not possibly disagree more with him in terms of politics and culture and our backgrounds, everything is just so, so different. I found it easy to engage in the conversation just because of how upfront and clear he was about what his beliefs were. But the number of threats, it's yeah. too much. Yeah, it was just too much. 